Yo, what's good, you guys? Today I'm gonna be doing a haircut on my boy Carlos, and it's pretty much a compressed fade. Everybody has different names for it, but I like calling it a compressed fade because it literally goes from uh, no hair to a lot of hair in a matter of like centimeters. So yeah, let's get started. Here I am grabbing my T outliners, and I'm just creating my first first line. And um, usually on my on my on my past videos. I try to steer away from doing such a harsh line, but for this particular kind of hairstyle or haircut, I like doing a real, real tight, high line. And um, I do a mixture of both my T outliners and my other trimmers. And I'm gonna start coming in with the shavers in a little bit to get it real, real nice and tight. And then once I do that, I'll get back to you guys. Cool, so now I grab my one and a half guard and I'm just gonna bring it up just slightly, um, probably about an inch and a half above that initial line that I created. Go all around the head and um, I'm gonna do a side to side. So what I mean by that, I'm gonna do one side at a time. And um, this is a little trick that um, I like to use and basically just pushing the hair downwards cause he's trying to keep as much bulk in that area as possible so just holding the hair in place it's a good little trick that i like to use i don't like to use the word nuggets because it just it just makes me think about mcdonald's nuggets for some reason and no disrespect to the people that use that word but yeah just let's stick to the word trick so yeah here i'm going to the opposite side of the head and just bringing that one and a half guard with me the whole way through This is the highest guard that I'm going to use as far as like guard use. I am going to go downwards and fade downwards, but as far as guards going up from this level, they will not be used. Everything after this will be clipper over comb. So yeah, let me just uh, get back to you guys as soon as I get to that part. So this is hilarious because this is the part where I showed him what it looks like of the, the back part of his head as you can see he has a little bit of a light spot on the top we always give him a hard time at the barbershop because of that I'm like yo you're going bald that thing looks bad I don't know you might as well just shave your head off just giving him a hard time it's all fun and games though he knows he knows how to take a joke and that's how it should be in every barbershop so yeah here I grab my one clip on my Andes Masters and I'm going right underneath that line that I uh, initially did with the one and a half on the wall seniors. And just kind of barely tapping the, the top line that I left. And I'm sure after this, what I start doing is grab the 1 16th guard, as you can see now. And I'm gonna go right underneath that line. And I'm fading in a downwards motion. Very simple. Like I said, I'm not gonna go any higher than that one, si one and a half guard that I use on my wall. Everything else is is uh, downwards. And I'm in and out of this video because I'm watching the Houston OKC game and um, this got pretty wild. So yeah, um, back to the video. Uh, 116th guard, same area, same place. And yeah, once I get to the next step, I'll get back to you guys. Yeah, so here I grab my masters with no guard all the way open. Damn, draw my charger. Yeah, so masters, no guard all the way open. And just starting open and then continuing down to a closed. And you'll see that last line start to just disappear. And if there is anything left over, I like to come back with the trimmers, as you'll see in a little bit here. And yeah, guys, you know, just a reminder, just if you guys like this video, just hit the like button if you want to subscribe. Um, I post a lot of stuff on IG, 
like before and afters for those who just like to see the before and afters. If that's something that you guys want to see. Just just let me know. And um, man, I really got to learn how to block off people's cell phones because I don't want no copyright problems. And I'm pretty sure he just showed me like a a GIF or a GIF, whatever it's called. And it was probably funny because I always laugh at the stuff he shows me. But I don't want you guys seeing what my clients are doing because that's private for what they want. So back to the haircut and um, going all the way through the head. I like doing the back part first because I feel like that's the most important part because everything comes to that one spot in the back where it kind of gives it like that V effect. And once you get this part, then you just got to meet the other sides to what the back is already faded to. So I find it pretty useful. So yeah, like I said, now I'm moving on to the side. And everything will blend in because I know what I'm fading to. I see it in the back. I take a glance back at it. I know I'm not going too high, not too low. So that's pretty much like what I'm letting myself be guided by. And I'm just retracing my steps. Same thing I did in the back, I'm going to do on both sides. It's obviously like I'm aiming for a specific look. And um, not to toot my own horn, you know, I usually don't gas myself up. But this haircut came out pretty clean. And I'm kind of mad that I didn't take an after picture outside. I am um, in the market for a, a ring light. And um, I want to get like you guys a uh, really good angle, a really good view of what I see. And I know it's going to just enhance my hair because that much more. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully that comes in pretty soon. And um, we can get that resolved. Man, I keep like... I, I can't emphasize this enough. I really got to learn how to blur out these people's phones. I'm using iMovie and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I can do that on here. I'll figure that out soon though. So yeah, that's my manager walking by, just strolling by. You'll see him a couple of times. He's a trip and um, he probably didn't even realize that I was recording a video, but I mean, it's a, it's a busy shop on the weekends and people will be walking back and forth. So I can't do much about that. Uh, yeah, it's too much time. I, I gotta start talking. Y'all gonna get bored. That's true. I'm, I'm already getting bored. I'm on my phone just looking through my story and on Snapchat. So let me just... Let me just get back to it. I'm gonna have to fast forward this video a little bit. Alright, cool. So now we're gonna start the clipper over comb process. And basically, I'm just brushing all the hair down that I'm gonna use. You probably see that in the front. There's like a long strand because maybe because where the part is going to be. Well, he wears a natural part, so I'm not going to do a part, but usually where it parts at, it might have been a little bit uneven. So I brought some of the hair down. And um, this is what makes the compressed fade work, is the clipper over comb. And I'm using a bigger comb now, and possibly towards the end of the video, you'll see me go back and forth between scissors um, and a smaller comb. So yeah, I'm just going to let you guys see this. I'm using it at an angle. And yeah, as you can see, like right there, just that one pass with clipper over comb, everything already starts to blend together. And that's what, you know, that's what's aesthetically pleasing to the eye because you just start seeing everything just come together and, and it's just crazy to watch. So here I come with a different comb and I slowly start working my way into those areas that I couldn't get with the other comb. 
And you'll see me go back and forth with Combs as far as that goes. And I think I said Comb like 65 times, so I'm just going to stop saying it for a little bit. <laughs> so here, other side, this side's important because it's not going to look exactly like the other side. It's still going to be compressed, but it's going to look a little bit different. And there you go, another lady walking by. That is my uh, manager's wife, just strolling, probably getting some paint. She does a uh, woman's hair in the front. I meant dye, what, whatever the woman used. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. It looks, it looks like paint. When you go from black to red, your hair is red now, it's paint. That's the way I see it. So, yeah, she was probably mixing up some color. Color, that's the word I'm looking for, color. So, yeah, same thing as the other side, switching out the combs. I said comb again. Yes, I did. So, just trying to get those areas. And then you'll see everything start blending in together. So I'm gonna spray the top down with some water. I'm gonna do some scissor shear work. I'm just gonna brush it to where it goes. And um, actually, you know what? I guess I'm not doing any shear work. Let's see. Like I said, guys, I'm not, I'm watching this video. I recorded this a couple days ago, so I, I forget. Okay, yeah, so the only shear work that I end up doing is on the side. I guess he, he liked the length on the top. So yeah, I mean, you see it when it's wet, you saw it when it's dry, and um, either way, I mean, it came out real nice. I know he really liked it. This is like a haircut that we usually do on him whenever he goes on vacation or he's going out on a special date, and my MacBook is about to die, so I'm gonna put it to charge and I'll be right back. Cool, I made it. We're still good, we're at 3% now. So yeah, I'm doing some some blower work on the top here. Um, sorry about the noise. Um, oh man, this this lady right here. The only reason I'm gonna talk about her is because I know for a fact she doesn't have YouTube. She was a stylist that used to work at the shop. Man, what a character. Oh man, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that the guy watching this video, Carlos, which is the guy I'm cutting, he's gonna crack up when he gets to this part because that lady was crazy she no longer works with us uh thank god so yeah um blur work is done it was something simple something light on the top nothing crazy and then look at that man from the back it looks sick from the side it looks sick i'm just gonna go back and just do some like light work in this front area because he doesn't do a edge up so i wasn't really feeling how it looked right in the front but i think i end up liking it regardless so i leave it so um yeah it came out it came out clean now that i see it you know slowed down and here i'm just blending in the sideburns you know to his beard or his beard to the skin on the side on both sides very important yeah so <laughs> i keep thinking about that lady and she goes to the back and leaves the door open and you can see that green ladder such a beautiful sight i still have to have i still gotta get that fixed man i gotta do something about that black door it's like our storage room back there, man. I think I work at Ace Hardware the way it looks back there. But uh, it's not it's not really nice. But, hey, it, it works. There she goes. Bye. It works. And um, I like I like my environment, my work environment. I mean, I always tell people, they're like, oh, you know, your barbershop isn't as busy as the other ones you worked at. And, man, I always say the same thing to everybody. I'm like, yo, like. As long as you're happy in your environment, that's what matters. It doesn't matter, you know, how many people are coming in that other shop. As long as your clientele is consistent, it might not be as full in a barber shop, but I mean, you have a good time. So yeah, guys, this is my information here at the end. Um, you guys are more than welcome to follow me, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video.